Well, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. All right, today we are going to uh, compare velocities in some 22 long rifle ammunition. We're going to compare the CCI Stingers and the CCI Coppers. Let's see, the Coppers say the the velocity at the muzzle is 1850 feet per second and the Stingers say the velocity at the muzzle is 1640. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot 10 of these through the S&W pistol, the M&P 22, and then 10 through the Ruger 1022, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, I know there will be a difference, but I'm just curious to see what that difference is as well. So I've got it ready to go ahead and shoot the pistol rounds. We'll start off with the CCI coppers. And we're about 10 feet away from the, the chronograph. So here we go. CCI Coppers MMP 22. Safety first. Okay, press start. All right. CCI Coppers M&P 22. So there's those. Uh, let me go ahead and get the chronograph set up for the uh, the Ruger 1022, and we'll try the coppers through it. Be right back. All right, here we go. Now we're going to try the Ruger 1022. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch out to the stingers. Be right back. Alright, we got the chronograph set up for the stingers. I'm going to go ahead and start with the M&P 22 again. Got an error. switch over to the 1022 let me set the chronograph all right we got it all set up for the 1022 let's go ahead and check it out
here we are. Got those done, so let's uh, get back in the lab and uh, check out the data. So I'm back in the lab, gone over all the data, uh, it was just, it was a lot of stuff. So, so anyway, I'm going to try to break it down for you. Um, overall, there, there was one anomaly with the, the CCI copper. One round went 1,749 feet per second, but that was just the one round. Most of the rest were not as fast. Um, I'll go over just the averages real quick. With the MMP 22, the copper, the average velocity was 1174.70. The stingers were 1192.02. And then with the 1022, the coppers were 1596.43. And the stingers were 1596.70. So some surprising results because. Uh, According to these boxes, the stingers are supposed to go at 1,640. Of course, that's muzzle velocity. And the coppers were supposed to go at 1,850, which didn't turn out to be the case in, in my test at all. But anyway, the true velocity, and I just went and uh, averaged it out between the, uh, the M&P 22 pistol and the Ruger 1022 rifle. And what I came up with was the copper's true uh, true maximum velocity was 1387.13 and the stingers were 1395.26 so so just a little bit of an edge for the stingers which is a, a surprising result from what I've got of course it was just two guns very limited test I'd have to do it you know with literally probably you know hundreds of different guns to get a, a truly you know accurate results out of this but but from what I can see in this initial testing CCI's claim of the the coppers yeah not so much but there you are thanks for watching